All right, showing off this beautiful two-piece lovely set set to drop for the autumn winter season guys but this is not what this is about back to our machine based training great for beginners and we are warming up with a jump rope session for three to five minutes and no worries i'm definitely going to go over these outfit deets after the video get to this machine if you have one in your gym and we're starting out with hanging leg raises and i'll show you different variations just in case you're not able to effectively do this so i'm going for about 15 reps do more if you can um do less if you have to and work your way up to 15. but we're gonna do three sets of these different variations you see Please do what works for you. And again, you'll build up muscle and strength over time to perform these straight leg hang raises. Here you'll see with the specific modification that I will be alternating my legs, putting a great emphasis on my lower abdomen. So if you have problems or issues with that, FUPA area down low. This is a nice exercise to build muscle so that it is working on your behalf while you're sleeping and throughout, you know, normal activity through the day. Building muscle allows our body to work for us when we're not in the gym working for us, if that makes sense. And the last variation I'm going to show you, we are using both of our knees and this may be a little bit more challenging than alternating so like i said go for all three shoot for it if you cannot complete 15 reps that's okay do what you can and over time you will see that you are building and gaining more strength because you'll be able to do more repetitions all right, so you'll want to grab a band from your attic mini band set. I am using the medium band. Now, this if this is specifically for your knees to prevent them from falling or caving in. So we definitely want to prevent injury while we perform our exercises. First up is our hip thrust. Notice that my shoulder blade is on the bench as well as a little portion of my back. I see a lot of people put pressure on their back because they don't have the correct form while performing these hip thrusts. Please be mindful of where my shoulders and my upper back lie on this bench. If you missed our sweat challenge, I give you key details and tips on how to execute glute exercises you want to make sure you are squeezing your glutes at the top of the rep to get that great contraction that we are looking for for definition and building mass feel free to start off with body weight exercises and work your way up in your weights by 10 to 20 pounds Moving over to a plank, you want to make sure your hips are low and that your body is forming a straight line like so. Focus or try focusing on something in front of you. Make sure you're keeping a neutral spine, meaning your neck is not up or down, but you're forming a straight line with your core braced, glutes tight, your shoulders in alignment over your elbows and remember focus on breathing do not forget to breathe getting that oxygen flow throughout your body aim for 45 to 60 seconds but don't be discouraged if you do less than moving on now this is not beginner friendly but i'm showing you the modification to bulgarian squats which is what you see here now weighted bulgarian squats now this may be difficult for the average beginner it should be so what we're going to do is we're going to move into stationary squats we'll progress to bulgarian squats later no worries your resting leg in the front forms a 90 degree angle as you extend your back leg that also forms a upside down 90 degree angle backwards or in reverse and we're simply hovering our leg that is extended behind us two inches above the floor 
and back up. Now, when we go back to the starting position, we're going to squeeze our glute at the top. And remember, what you do to one side, you're going to do to the other side for balanced gains. Each exercise, we're aiming for three sets. All right, onto our side plank. Now, this, of course, is the regular version but i'm going to show you a modified version which is beginner friendly and which i super suggest using if you are a beginner um this could be difficult but i want to give you some key points here shoulder and elbow is aligned correctly so you see my shoulder sits right over my elbow my core is tight and braced and I'm focusing on breathing. In just a moment, I'm gonna give you another view. However, I want you to pay close attention to how I am fully, how I am forming a straight line. And of course, I'm gonna give you another angle of the back view with the modification included. All right, next up on the chopping board is bridges. Now you can also substitute these bridges for hip thrusts if you are unable to, you know, get the form down packed. However, these are glute focused bridges. As you see, my chin is tucked just so I can get a larger emphasis on my glute muscles. Typically, I see a lot of women press through their tippy toes with their heels lifted. You do not want to do that. If you need to, you can press through your heels and your toes to the ceiling. All right, laying on your back, chin tucked, and your hands placed underneath your bum. We are going to do switch kicks, and I'm hovering my feet to or one to two inches from the floor. So you do not see my heels touch the ground. And we're gonna switch into scissor kicks or scissors, where we're simply moving our legs from side to side like scissors. Again, my chin is tucked, core tight, and my pelvis or my hips are rolled into the ground. Lastly, we are going to burn out our glute muscles. Now I am on my forearms again, so I can put a lot of emphasis on my glutes. Now my heel is pointing or it is going towards the ceiling. So you want to make sure your foot is flexed and your heel is kicking toward the ceiling. Now what you do to the left, you want to do to your right. And I'm going to add some pulses just to burn out that muscle. Now, if you want to intensify it, of course, add your attic band and your knee that is resting, you want to place the band underneath that, that knee so you can put extra stress on the muscle. So I hope you're subscribed to the newsletter so you can get the latest deets on our newest drip that drops on Thursdays. Now this is just a sneak peek of a nice two piece coming soon. Subscribe.